friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another What I Eat in a Day to Lose Weight on WW. I cannot wait to take you along with me on my entire day. A little bit of day in the life, coming along with me to an open house, my breakfast, my lunch, dinner, snacks, and dessert, and of course, a little glimpse at Diesel and Lola. So if you wanna see what I eat in a day to lose weight on the WW Freestyle program, then just keep watching. my breakfast for today. I'm really excited. So what I have here is I went ahead and made a pancake from the Kodiak Cakes Dark Chocolate. This is so good. This is good in muffins, pancakes. I really wanted chocolate this morning. I don't know why. And I wanted to make sure I had that protein boost that you get from Kodiak Cakes. There's 14 grams of protein. So I went ahead and made a pancake. On the pancake, all I put was just a little bit of, I can't believe it's not butter spray and just literally less than an eighth of a cup of sugar-free syrup. And then I went ahead and made some eggs. And as you know, I've been doing eggs and egg whites. So I'm doing one whole egg and then I'm doing one egg white. And that way I'm getting that little extra boost of protein and saving myself some calories. Just something I've been doing. I'm really enjoying it. I'm not noticing any difference. And then I have some watermelon. We got the best watermelon from Trader Joe's. It is so good. So I'm gonna have some watermelon. So. It is zero for the watermelon, zero for the eggs, and for the Kodiak dark chocolate pancake, and by the way, this mix has chocolate chips in it, just saying, is five points. So my breakfast is a total of five smart points. So when I die, I wanna be reincarnated as Lola. Yeah, reincarnated as Lola. See this cover right here? She dug that out so she could lay on the sheets. Hi, baby girl. Yes, your mama's sweetheart. Yes, I love you so much. And let's make our way over here to the other dog in the family. Hi, bud. Oh yeah, waking your tail. Hi, handsome. What you doing? Oh yeah, stretch it out, buddy. Come here, stretch it out. He's been right here all day, hasn't moved. So again, when I die, I wanna come back as one of the two of these guys. So for my morning snack, I am craving pumpkin. I know you guys, it's a little early, I get it but I want some pumpkin. So I'm gonna make a pumpkin protein shake. This is something I just kind of thought up in my head. So let me show you what I'm going to be putting into my protein shake. I'm just gonna be using my little magic bullet here. Oh, I'm gonna use the Devotion Angel Food Cake protein powder. I love this protein powder. You guys know this, it is amazing. You can have an entire scoop of this for one smart point. It is sugar-free. It has two grams of MCT, and MCT helps keep you full, so it's something that keto people eat a lot or use as a supplement. It also is bloat-free and has a six-enzyme formula, which makes it amazing. It tastes great. There is no aftertaste, no weird chalky taste, no whey protein taste. It is, I'm telling you, incredible. Highly recommend Devotion. There is not another protein powder on the market that I even remotely want to purchase. This is so incredibly delicious. And again, this is the angel food cake. It has 20 grams of protein, so it's gonna keep me nice and full. If you're interested in devotion, I do have a 10% off discount code. I will put it here on the screen. All you have to do is click the link down in the description box and at checkout, enter the code and voila, 10% off is yours. So highly recommend devotion. If you follow my channel, you know I eat it a lot in protein shakes. I use it a ton in cooking. Definitely a must have item. I also have just some canned pumpkin puree, not the pumpkin pie mix, don't get that, that is loaded with sugar, just canned pureed pumpkin. And then for seasoning, of course, I'm gonna do some pumpkin spice, hello. So I'm gonna be using my Dax, which is my favorite pumpkin spice seasoning in the world. This is zero salt, all natural, no MSG, 
all amazing ingredients without added salt. So fantastic before weigh in. This pumpkin spice seasoning is on point. It has everything I'd ever want in pumpkin spice. It is so good. So I'm gonna be adding some of that. Again, if you would like to purchase Dax, I will put my code here on the screen. Same routine, click the link in the description box, enter the code, and Dax actually gives you 10% off and free shipping, so double bonus. So I'm gonna be adding some of that, of course. And lastly, just some of my Trader Joe's vanilla. This is my very favorite vanilla. This is the bourbon vanilla extract and some ice. And I'm gonna blend this up. Oh, and I'm probably going to add milk. Duh, a little bit of almond milk. So let's get this stuff into my little blender cup. I'll add a little bit of milk and I'll show you exactly what it looks like before I blend it up. bark situation from a few weeks ago how we had barked our entire front yard well my lovely husband yesterday while I was doing open houses finished out the bark into our backyard that transitions kind of into our black rock that we have at this part of our house but I need your guys's opinion so we had enough bark to do this entire area all the way over to this side of our yard but there's this area right here so it's literally directly across from this area of bark right here that is this kind of pinky colored rock and it is the only area in our yard that is this pinky colored rock so we need your opinion on whether we should leave it like that or if we should bark it kind of like we did this area right here so what is your guys's opinion keep it bark or keep it the rocks so let me know down in the comments my husband and i are taking a poll to see what your guys's opinion is so here's what I'm gonna do for lunch today. I'm just gonna take my lunch with me to my open house. So the next clip will be my actual lunch when I'm at the open house, when I'm hungry. So I'm gonna use one of my Tomorrow's Premium White Wraps. This is the size of these and they are only one smart point. I love them. To that, I'm going to add this mixture here. So essentially what this is, is chicken, red and green peppers and onions left over from a fajita dinner, zero smart points. And then I added one smart point of the Trader Joe's light Mexican cheese to the top. And then I'll just warm this up and put that into my wrap. And then I'm going to take some of my O oh Snap Pickling Company Dilly Bites with me. These are zero smart points. And my wrap is going to be one for the cheese and one for the tortilla, so two smart points. And then I'm gonna take a Choco Ripe Peanut Butter Cup. I'm obsessed with these. You guys know that. Every one of you that have tried these rave about them. So you can buy these off of the Protein Wise website. Down in the description box is a link. It will give you $10 off of your order. So you can pick $10 worth of product for free. And there are so many amazing WW products, Sweet Nothings, Choco Right, the Oat Mega Bars. They have Quest Chips. I mean, you name it, they have it. This is the peanut butter cups. And you can have two peanut butter cups for two smart points. So this whole package is two points. So I'm gonna do that for dessert. So two, three, four. So this is my four smart point lunch. So here's the house that I'm at today, Sunday, doing an open house. You guys, this house is gorgeous. It is $494,000. Hey guys, it's I am at the gas station. I just left my open house. Oh my gosh, I literally almost had a panic attack. So I leave my open house, which is in this gorgeous house that you saw. Beautiful, beautiful house. Had quite a good turnout. May have met some new potential customers, so that's exciting. Anyway, I leave my open house. I drive all the way to the other end of town to meet my other client who we just signed around her house. She left her tape measure there and I had to get her earnest money check. 
and I realized I left my camera at the house that I did the open house on. But as I was cleaning up the open house, I didn't remember seeing my camera. So literally like shook with panic, thinking, oh my God, did someone steal my camera? My mind just elsewhere thinking about my camera. Long story short, I drove all the way back to where my open house was and my camera was there. Oh, I feel so much better knowing that my camera was there. So quite the scare. And you know what's the saddest part? I wasn't even worried about my camera as much as my footage that I got today. So if that's not a YouTuber for you. So for my afternoon snack, I'm gonna be having a Built Bar. As you know, there is a brand new flavor of Built Bar out and it is black cherry. And let me just tell you, it is amazing. It is Built Bar's one year anniversary, which is so crazy. That company has grown exponentially over the last year. Such a great company, fantastic customer service. I love the Built Bar. It is a staple in my weight loss journey. There is not a day that goes by that I don't have one. And I need these to keep me satisfied, cure my sweet tooth, but also give me that little boost of protein and fiber to keep me full. So I'm gonna put on the screen here all of the details about the new Built Bar promotion for their one year anniversary. I do have an entire video on my channel about it. I'll link that down in the description box below for you guys but you gotta get the new flavor. And there's so many freebie shirts and just, it's amazing what Bill Barr does for us. So today though, I am having the mint brownie delight. This is one of my favorite Bilt Bars. It literally tastes like a grasshopper brownie. The mint is subtle, but it's there. So if you're not a huge mint fan, you would love this. The consistency is like an ooey gooey brownie. I love it. So these Bilt Bars have 110 calories, 15 grams of protein, six fiber, four sugar, four fat three smart points. So they keep you full. They're delicious. They literally taste like a candy bar and the cherry. You guys, you have to get the cherry. So I'm going to have this as my snack, three smart points. Definitely run over to Built Bar. Use my code here on the screen. Save yourself 10% or actually 20% during the promotion with my code. Free shipping. Don't miss it. So three smart point snack. For my dinner tonight, I'm gonna to be making gnocchi soba noodles. I am making a couple of modifications. I'm adding some zucchini, and I'm not gonna be using the oil, so of course I'll list that down in the description box below. And unfortunately, I'm out of my no sugar added ketchup, so I'm gonna use regular ketchup. So speaking of ketchup, here's what's in tonight's dinner. Ketchup, Worcestershire sauce, soy sauce. I'm gonna be using coconut aminos, which is a substitution for soy sauce. Sugar, so I have my monk fruit sweetener. Two packages of ramen noodles, cabbage, an onion. Again, I'm gonna add in some zucchini because I have a ton of it on hand. Broccoli, carrots, and some chicken. So let's get started on tonight's dinner. So the first thing we need to do to get started is chop our broccoli, chop our onion, chop up our chicken, and then we'll be ready to start cooking. saucepan we're gonna go ahead and bring some water to a boil and we're gonna add in our ramen noodles we're gonna discard the flavoring packet we're only using the noodles and then in this pan here I just have some nonstick cooking spray and to that I am going to add my chopped up chicken my chicken I went ahead and just added some ground ginger we're just gonna allow this to cook all the way through it'll take about five or six minutes and then we're gonna add in our veggies once our water comes to a boil, we'll add in our ramen. Once your chicken is most of the way cooked through, we're adding in a ton of veggies. So I have my broccoli, my red onion, and my cabbage. I'm also going to add in some carrot chips and then of course some zucchini. So we're just gonna load this pan down with the vegetables and we're gonna let these cook down until they're most of the way cooked through. So I've got some carrots and then I'm just gonna put in a good size handful of zucchini as well. And then my noodles are coming along nicely. We'll drain them and then set those aside. Once our veggies cook a little bit more, we are going to put together our sauce. 
While our vegetables are cooking away, we're gonna make our sauce. So I have one quarter cup of soy sauce, or in my case, coconut aminos. I have one quarter cup of Worcestershire sauce. One tablespoon of monk fruit sweetener. And then I'm going to add two tablespoons of ketchup and I'm just going to kind of wing it. And then we're gonna stir this until everything is dissolved. So we wanna make sure our sugar is dissolved, our ketchup and everything is nice and blended together. And then this is going to be added to our vegetables once they are done cooking. And this is our sauce, it looks yummy. After your vegetables have cooked and softened, it looks amazing. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add in our sauce. So we're just going to pour that over the top of our chicken and our vegetables. And then we're gonna give it a good mix and let it get nice and coated. And the very last step is we're gonna go ahead and add in our noodles. And then we're gonna give everything a nice stir and get it all nice and combined. Make sure your noodles get soaked with the sauce and our dinner is done. So I'll be back to show you our completed dinner and to give you the smart points. So here is my dinner for tonight. So this is what our yakisoba noodles look like. It makes only four servings. And the only thing that has points in it is the ramen noodles. So the chicken, the veggies, everything in the sauce, other than the ketchup was zero points. So it doesn't add any additional points. But if you use sugar-free, you're even better off. So one fourth of the yakisoba noodles with veggies is only six smart points. So this is my six smart point dinner. So for dessert tonight, I'm gonna make my parfait. I get a lot of questions on how I make it. So I'm gonna show you guys step-by-step step how I put together my smart cake parfait. So I start first with a light and fit Greek yogurt. You can use any flavor you want. I am going with vanilla. You'll also need some fat-free Ready Whip and of course a smart cake. So this is the orange cream smart cake. I really, really like this flavor. These little cakes are only one smart point a piece. This is the size of them. They have this delicious sugary top on them. They are really, truly delicious. So I use that in my smart cake parfait. So if you're interested in the smart cakes, you can order them online at smartbakingco.com. Click the link and enter the code here on the screen and you'll get 10% off of your order. These are amazing. This is also the same company that does the Smart Bun. So let's get this parfait put together. So first we're gonna start with some non-fat Greek yogurt at the bottom of our parfait glass. And then we're gonna layer our Smart Cake and some fat-free Ready Whip. So go ahead and unwrap your Smart Cake. I keep my little base so that I can put the smart cake I'm not using on my base just to keep it off the counter. And then go ahead and add your crumbled up little pieces of your smart cake. And then we're going to add a layer of fat free ready whip. And we're going to repeat. So we're going to go back to our non fat Greek yogurt. Another section of our smart cake. And this one I usually put a big chunk of it in the middle layer and just save a little bit for the top. And then we're gonna add another layer of our fat-free ready whip. Yogurt. The last of our smart cake. And then I always top it again with a little bit of fat-free ready whip. So save a little bit of your cake aside and add the last layer. Spray it with a little bit more fat-free ready whip. And then I usually will just crumble the last little bit of my cake on top and that is my parfait. So it's two for the yogurt, one for the smart cake, and I do count one for the fat-free ready whip only because I use so much. So this is a four smart point dessert. Thank you for joining me on another What I Eat a Day on the WW Freestyle program. I hope you enjoyed seeing all of my meals coming to my open house, Diesel and Lola, my yard, just a little bit of everything. I hope you enjoyed spending the day with me. Thank you for coming along. If you're new to my channel, I would love it if you would take a moment and hit that little subscribe button and that bell. That way you'll get notified every time I upload. You don't wanna miss a video. Please give this one a thumbs up. 
Comment down below, let me know what you like about the What I Eat In A Day videos and what you'd like to see a little bit more of in the future. I wanna make sure that I'm putting out what you guys wanna see. Thank you again so much for watching. I love you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. <laughs>